and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today we have an important topic about the commander prices. As most players have probably heard already, they are planning to increase the cost of free experience to buy commanders. At first, when they threw this idea to the table, I was actually supporting them. It was a great idea, buying commanders for gold was just practically wasting gold. It was easier to convert to experience and then buy the commander. You could practically unlock a new commander just by playing less than 10 games. I agree that the prices were really ridiculous. So basically the cheapest commander gets an increase of 26.5 thousand free experience. Which seems also somewhat ridiculous. So basically what you see on this table is the gold cost if you buy it with gold, the free experience cost and the conversion if you convert the free experience from gold. Buying it with gold is probably the cheapest and fastest way in general. I'm sure that veteran players don't care about these increases. They already have a lot of free experience, they have already bought all the commanders and so. But what about new players? In worst case scenario, it's gonna take them like 14 hours to unlock one of the cheapest commanders. And if you're talking about one of the more expensive commanders, that time could almost get tripled. I do understand the developers, they do need our support, they need to make money, but these changes just seem to be one-sided. Let's increase the free experience cost and not reduce the gold cost. Instead, they could have met in the middle, reduced the gold cost by half, and from that also taking the comparison to the free experience cost. They basically explained it from the last sentence. It's crucial in ensuring the game's continued health. I personally don't mind this change so heavily as many other players. I do have some free experience, I do have some gold. But I feel that this change can easily turn off new players from wanting to play it. They need to spend incredible time playing, grinding, and perhaps even not upgrading their commanders just to hope and collect for the commander they want to buy. Or perhaps even pay a huge amount of gold and after they find out they don't even like the commander and they need to level it up once again, they might as well uninstall the game. Basically for a new player to unlock one of the top cost commanders, Hannibal, Sula, Hasdrubal or Alexander, they would have to play over 100 matches, starting from tier 1 and probably finishing around tier 7. That is a lot of matches and that is a lot of time. But I also want to suggest an alternative. For new players we could bring down the cost of first 3 commanders, let's say to 10,000 free experience. And in general reduce the gold cost and free experience cost of all commanders. Because simply, if these prices here stay, the number of new players might just plummet. I do understand the developers here, but I feel that they have missed a middle path. They have gone from extremely small cost to extremely huge cost. And also guessing that the new commanders that are bound to come out, like the new Barbarian Archer Commander, that one will cost around 100,000 free experience. I did agree and I still do agree that the original prices or the first prices were too small. But these prices that they plan to implement are just too high. There are already many players complaining about it, noting it, saying that uh, of course the prices were too low and now they're too high. This is one of those few moments when I actually do smell the stench of wargaming around here somewhere because this decision seems to make the game heavily pay to play. I mean it would be buy to play if we could just uh, spend all the gold at once, unlock all the commanders, but they're going to add new commanders, you're gonna wanna upgrade those commanders, so you're probably gonna buy premium time as well. Buying premium time is not a bad thing. It helps you progress, you support the developers and so. But the bad thing is if you have to spend 
your hard-earned free experience for which you fought over 100, maybe 200 battles to earn on a single commander. If you would cut the new prices in half, it would still seem a lot. But the players would at least be willing to play the game. The new players might have some uh, motivation or some devotion to play it. Because I don't see new players willing to spend money on a new game they're just trying out. If the game is welcoming and warm, of course they're gonna buy premium time, perhaps premium units spend money on gold and so but right now it just feels that uh, this is a desperate move it just feels so desperate it just feels so cheeky like the war gaming had its uh, hairy little hand somewhere in there i don't want to sound like that but it's just how i see it i hope that the creative assembly reconsiders it balances the cost or something at least because it is not a smart move to push around new or potential players that might actually spend real time money on this game. So this was pretty much it. As I said, I supported the idea to increase the commander's cost, but we definitely shouldn't go overboard with this idea. There should be some sort of a middle ground where the commander cost isn't ridiculously high and it isn't ridiculously low as it was. Something like 30 -ish or 40 -ish thousand. Around there is how I see a top commander should cost, like Sulla, Hashtrapal, Hannibal, or perhaps even new commanders. I do not know what they plan, but I hope they reconsider it, rebalance it, and rework it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.